Hi right there folks, um, Simon here, Ariel's Pipe Smoker and it has been pipe arrival day so I thought I would um, share with you what, uh, what new treasures have arrived. I'm smoking a humble Missouri Meerschaum corn cob today actually. And I must admit, oh, I'm a bad tripod down, that's better camera down. I must admit, they, they smoke pretty good actually, to be fair. Um, I just have a couple kicking around the house, um, just if I can't be bothered to go upstairs to the pipe rack. Um, and I'm smoking some um, Orlick, uh, what's it called now, um, the club mixture. Which is kind of sort of aromatic -y, chocolatey, coffee thing, um, the tin note, but yeah, it doesn't really um, taste like that at all. Um, yeah, it's pretty average, but it's all right. It's, it's been such a hot day. I've been um, in the shadow, um, stayed indoors out in the shade. Now we've got a bit of shadow out on the terrace. So I thought I would um, come and make a quick video. So, without further ado. Firstly, we have these um, BBBs. And as far as I can tell, they're all um, kind of 1960s models. Um, that's probably not going to come out in this light. But yeah, this one's actually in its original box. It's a two-star Lovat. This one is um, silver grain, they call it. It's got kind of straight grain on one side and the other. And what they all, they all have in common, I mean, there's there's a few here which I've managed to date them from by the finishes or the, the, the range. Like, for example, this one's very faint, but it's uh, Morel McKenzie, which I think is about 1968 or something. Could be a little bit wrong. But they all have the, um, if you can see, like the brass um, kind of inlay on the stems. So as far as I can tell, these are kind of like, um, you know, mid-60s. So yeah, that's the, the BBBs. Bear with me. So I'm kind of um, photographing these as I'm laying them out to put onto my um, Facebook page. Um, just as like an available soon thing. Obviously they all need to be cleaned up and polished. Um, but these are probably not getting the... Um, contrast out so well um, but these are um, Graco's or Graco's and they predate well they went out of business in 1968 um, I think I think they've kind of um, recently there are pipes available that have Graco stamped on them but, the, but these are the original ones and like yeah I think I think they um, stopped trading in 1968 but so lovely kind of um, kind of black contrast stain on the grains. Hopefully we're getting some of that. But they look really nice together actually. Um, just out of interest, bear with me, sorry for seasickness. Um, oh, let's get a pipe that's got a slightly redder stain so you can see uh, Yeah, so that's that's the Graco's or Graco's. It's kind of quite a nice set actually. It's almost a shame to split them up. But uh, okay, moving uh, swiftly on. Now these next ones are a bit of um, a bit of a mystery, and um, there's not much I can find about them. They're stamped um, Portland, um, and some of them are stamped Portland, made in Denmark. Again, it's probably not going to get that out. And I've looked on the various um, online resources. That's kind of quite a nice uh, square shanked one. And um, it kind of appears that they're sort of possibly made in Italy by a Danish company and sold in England. Or, yeah. <laughs> but that one's rather nice green on it. It's quite a daring coloured stain. I mean the guy um, 
the original owner must have quite liked these, I mean, because the, these two Rhodesians are the same model. So he's doubled up on them. And the same with these, uh, not quite sure what you'd call that, actually a square shanked bent something. <laughs> but yeah, they're going to look really nice <clears throat> when the stems are uh, all back, back to their black, shiny former glory. And here we have some, I'm kind of, um, I think they're pretty old, um, Eric Nordings. This one's got lovely straight grain on that side and it's got that um, Jekyll and Hyde thing going on. But they're not actually numbered so I kind of assume they're not like um, mega high-end Nordings but they are nice Nordings nonetheless. And these two are the same model. I mean, they've been smoked, so it's not like uh, this old shop stock. But the, yeah, the original guy must have um, decided it was a good idea to get two of that one. But again, kind of quite a nice semi-rusticated... I think it's more of a blast, actually, looking at it. Like semi-blast finish. And this is kind of in the same range, isn't it? Like... Um, kind of bent and this one is rather nice and again this I can't oh no this one does have a number actually I think it's a number 90 I don't know quite what that means Nording made in Denmark but uh yeah that's going to look stunning when it's um all uh, polished up oh I need to get my head around um Sanding vulcanite stems again. And last but not least, we have these um, old Jean Tets, which are pretty nice pipes actually. One of them I think I probably have to keep. Um, which one was it now? Yeah, I think this one here has uh, got a bit of a burnout, or a starting to burn out looking at the colouring there, but uh, that's alright. They're the ones I end up keeping. <laughs> but, uh, I'll switch back to B. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, um, I know the current fashion um, seems to be, well, I won't say just in America, but it seems to be quite, there does seem to be fashions and trends in the pipe world. And I, I know it's for the, um, what is it, the, the Savinelli 320 seems to be all the rage at the moment, but... I mean, they do have a certain appeal. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, but I do prefer these these um, kind of elegant, kind of um, early French pipes. Actually, just the shape, and that they're just so incredibly light. I mean, that could hang there all day long, and you you just never know. Yeah, maybe the bowls aren't as big, big, but it's still, uh, you know. To reasonably nice sized pipes but yeah there's, there's something about them the elegance um, that I find some of these bigger um, sort of newer what I call designer pipes are um, yeah I mean they do have a certain appeal to them don't get me wrong but uh, I don't know to me they kind of lack a little bit of finesse and elegance shall we say um, right well I guess um, that's probably time to wrap up the video um, I need to kind of um, unbury the wet and dry sandpaper and um, start doing some work I guess it's been a while <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm going to um, try and be a bit more active on Instagram actually I mean I don't really get the point of it I mean I think it's a lot more popular in America than it is here but um, I always forget to do like before and after photos so rather than just posting random photos of pipes of which there's many. I, I, I think I should actually do like um, before and afters. And I think that gives a bit of impact. And uh, yeah, I have nothing else to say. Um, if anyone's interested, send me an email. Um, these are all going to be reasonably cheap. You know, there's nothing particularly expensive in there. Um, 
so yeah i'm going to sign off because i genuinely can't think of anything else to say all right then guys and um, thanks a lot and see you in a few days time take care now <laughs>